What's up, everyone out there? Welcome back to the Meandering Conversations podcast. I'm here joined by the great, the one, the only Bryce. Yep. And uh, we uh, we already recorded this once, but I had to do other shit. We already recorded this intro once. Uh, anyways, so this week's episode is going to be ranking Rick and Morty episodes. Because we've seen the entire show multiple times and we'll be able to rank them accordingly. We already did Rick and Morty characters. I really enjoyed doing that one. And uh, yeah, we got the tier list here. S through A. All episodes from all the seasons. You ready? S through A. S through F. S through F, yep. That's what I meant. Anyways, we're going to start off with the first episode entitled Pilot. In this episode, R- Rick and Morty, uh, he gets drunk, gets upset, tries to build a bomb. Then they go to get mega seeds. Morty shoves them up his ass, and he then starts to foam out of the mouth. Rice. I'd I'd say it's like B. Yeah. It's it's good. There's a few moments in it. Honestly, like it's not that crazy. It's not very like. Yeah, there are some jokes that really don't land for me, like when Rick gives Morty the the shoes, and then like he tells him like you got to turn them on, Morty first. Like I don't like that kind of dialogue. I feel like they didn't. Oh, I thought that I thought that bit was funny when Morty breaks his legs and then. Rick like disappears and he's like, I went to a different dimension. No, no, that's and everybody that's there was funny. young. <laughs> yeah, that that's funny. <laughs> Him saying that he needs to press put in the button on first isn't funny. Yeah, cause no, it's cause like I don't know. In that episode, they do like a lot of like the comedy where like something happens and then like Rick just explains it, and I don't find it as funny. And I also feel like the voice acting is not as good, even though it's the guy who voices Rick throughout the series. It's just, I feel like his voice hasn't come down to the best that it was. It's also a pilot. Yeah, so, yeah, I think B is a solid one. I like... Yeah, like, there are some funny jokes and it starts the series, but it's not the most interesting one. So now we got Lawnmower Dog. Is that the one where he gives cu- snowball or snuffles? Yeah, yeah, he gives he gives snuffles the the mind answering hand enhancing device, and they incept Morty's teacher's dreams. Oh, okay. Is that the same episode? Yeah, and that's the episode with Scary Terry. That episode. That's got to be like a fucking. That's got to be like X here. Yeah, no, there's a maybe lot even, of... Yeah. That may be, yeah, that, I'd say that at least A tier. I feel like the A plot and the B plot are really fucking well done. I, the B plot yeah, does... How, like, how, like, the dog takes over the world, and then it turns out that, you know, Rick ins- just incepted the dog. Yeah, and I like all the Inception jokes where, like, we need to make sure that he deep implants it into his mind. Then Scary Terry just comes out and is like, Make sure Morty gets a good grade in his class. Like, it was the most obvious thing ever. <laughs> yeah, and the teacher's like, um, I'm giving Morty an A, and that's, that's a really good cool idea. I can't do that. <laughs> yeah. In that episode, is that also where he's dreaming in class and he starts to grope the teacher? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think so. That's a funny bit. Yeah, no. That, I, honestly, that might be an S tier. I, I don't know. Yeah. It's hard. I can't remember all the episodes in their entirety, but, like, that episode hits. And then, like, s- Snuffles, like, Jerry pissing on the floor, then Snuffles, like, shoves his face into it, and he's like, bad human, bad no, human. No, when he fucking, you know, when he, yeah, when he pees on all the guns, and he's like, these are mine now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He thinks that he just pees on everything. 
Yeah, no, that's not, I'm honestly going to say S. That's a good episode. I feel like the series really cemented itself there. Then we got Anatomy Park. Good too. I don't. I'm not the biggest fan of the B plot in that episode. What's the B plot? Jerry's parents fucking that one guy. Oh yeah. The only part that I find funny about it is when his dad's like, "I'm usually in I a like closet." Jerry. I like Jerry being mad though. Yeah. No. See. And I I recently listened to the podcast of us ranking the characters. You said you hated Jerry a lot. Yeah, I don't really care for Jerry. But no, the, I do like the B plot, but I do feel like it, it's hard for me to explain. But it's like when Summer's boyfriend comes over and stuff like that. Like it's kind of intra. It's kind of funny, but at the same time, I really. I don't know. It, it's 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 a strange, it's a strange B plot. Well, the A plot I think is a lot more interesting, with the whole anatomy park thing and the, you know, it's parroting Jurassic Park and like, Greatest Adventure or whatever the fuck that movie's called. Then like Hepatitis C saves them or something like that. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. I was I was gonna say A. Like, yeah, I, I feel like it, it's it's a good A tier one. Oh, M. Night Shyamalan's The Simulation Inside of a Simulation Inside of a Simulation. That episode's pretty good. The yeah. bit gets kind of old, but it's still pretty funny. Yeah. And I, I like that Jerry's in the simulation and that and he, he doesn't has, realize. Yeah, and he has, like, his best day of his life in a simulation that was running at, like, 10% power or whatever the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I do like the I do like the parody of M. Night Shyamalan and stuff like that. The, the dude who's like, my discoloration on my butt flaps or whatever that was. Yeah. Yeah, and then it turns out that Rick knew it all along and made them blow themselves up. It's probably like a B tier. Yeah, yeah. While not a lot of the jokes land with the simulation, I feel like enough do to where I like it enough. Yeah, I think Anatomy Park's a little better yeah. than that one. Okay, we got Me Seeks and Destroy. Ooh, shit. That's a really funny episode. <laughs> What? Wait, is Jerry that Jerry makes all trying to get his fucking um golf thing, and then they like go insane, and is like, I just want to die. Is the a plot in that episode where they like, where they go to the fucking giants, or is that a different episode? They go to the giants. Where like the Mister Jellybean is a pedophile or whatever that was. Is that that episode? Are those the same episodes? Yeah, I think it is. Freeing him up to go on an adventure led by Morty. Yeah, that is that episode. Oh, okay, yeah. Morty wants to go on an episode, and then they're all uh, trying to solve their issues, so then Jerry gives them the Meeseeks box. No, Rick gives them the Meeseeks box. So uh, yeah, Rick, yeah. The Meeseeks part of the episode I like a lot. It's really funny. The... Yeah, I don't like the... The, the giant the, stuff I don't find the most compelling. The only parts that I like yeah. about it are the end with like the pedophile reveal of that one character. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I'd say was, part... What'd you say? Yeah, I didn't enjoy I feel like the main A plot of that episode is not as funny as M. Night Shyamalan, so I'm gonna put it in C tier. And we're not gonna be, um, we're not gonna be ranking them in the tiers themselves, are we, or are we doing that? No, 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 we don't have to do that. But... Okay, so... We can, we can, we can kind of say what the worst episode is, and what the best is. Yeah, so, me seeks and destroy, while one, the B plot of the episode is really funny, the main plot isn't the most compelling. So that's a C tier. Um, we got Rick Potion number nine. The 
Mantis Cronenberg episode. Oh, the flu season one? Yeah. The I really dance. fucking... That one's pretty... Yeah, I like no. that episode. I think I it's say... funny as fuck. I feel like it's an A or an S. I'd say A tier. Yeah. It's really good. It sets up the whole plot line that Rick and Morty aren't in their original... Yeah, and it leads to some of the more serious and darker moments of the show. And I really... And I really do think the Cronenberg aspect is really funny on how Rick thinks, like, this will solve the problem, but it fucking won't. Yeah, even, just... like, even, like, Morty wanting Rick to make, like, a Rick experiment was really funny, too. Yeah. I... All that bad shit. Then everybody just wants to fuck Morty. I remember one of my favorite lines is when Rick saves Morty. He's like... <laughs> He's like... No, don't worry. If you're about to question whether I have sex with you, these potions only work on people who are not related to you. <laughs> yeah. No, I feel like that's an A tier. I I would say S, but I feel like it doesn't excel to mm. being as good as Long no, it, Dog it's, was. It's a, good, it's a good episode, but I don't think it's like... S-worthy. Uh, S. Yeah. yeah. So, now we got Raising Gazorpazorp. Oh fuck! Yeah, that episode wasn't a huge fan of. It's funny, but honestly, like I prefer like both of the plots are relatively even in their quality. Like, what's the B plot? The, the they B, go to yeah, they go to the planet, and the jokes that really made me laugh are the sex robot thing, where it's like <laughs> Morty comes down, drinks something, and he's like, back, back upstairs. <laughs> Yeah, Morty yeah, Junior. I wasn't the biggest fan of it. Like, yeah, I didn't really care for that. And then he does like that eighties dance thing. Yeah, and and the I woman probably... society jokes, like they're funny kind of at first, but then I kind of just get sick of them. Yeah, yeah that would probably be a D tier episode. Really, D? It's funny, but it's like I don't really think like. I really think of that episode ever because I don't really think it's anything special. Yeah, you know. But you also got to think, Tana, us rating it D doesn't mean that it's bad. We're rating it in the comparison to the other episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, we got the first. Oh, what? No, go ahead. We got the first interdimensional cable. It's gonna be hard for me to even remember the international cable ones because they're so like. Well, that's the bad. one where Rick gives them a view into their other lives, which I kind of find that a bit <laughs> funny. That is really funny. Yeah, and then like they they're in that find themselves in their alternative life or whatever. Yeah, it's hard for me to exactly remember all the, like, the anthology bits in that one. Is that the one with, like, the two brothers running from the moon and stuff like that? It, I, like, I like the... It's, there's a lot of clever shit. And that's the, the episode... Internet. And that's the episode where Morty tells Summer that he's not her brother. Yeah. So that that's a pretty nice like serious discussion between the two of them. So I'd give it like B. And actually, yeah, I'd give it a C. I'd give it a C. It's like Jerry and Beth, like yeah. And the sketches, the well, but... I remember them. I it's like I'm only gonna find it funny when I rewatch it. So I'm gonna so C. Yeah, I'm cool with C. Yeah. Okay, now we got um something ricked this way comes. It's the Rick battles it's the 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 devil's shop episode and uh, the Pluto is a planet episode. Yeah, I really think Pluto is a planet. Yeah, no, that's not the, the B plot. plot in that episode is not very good, but the main plot with the with devil's planet. Yeah. And Rick makes a business thought of just like taking magic from them or whatever. He's like or curing them of their curse. Yeah, he cures the curse and just allows them to be like good or whatever. And then at the end, 
That's the that's also the butter robot episode. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. So I, I would give it a, a B. I like it more than interdimensional cable. I guess we go B. B is pretty much like middle, right? Yeah, no, C is technically not yeah, it's B or C. So is it on B the C. if we put B it in B it's it above it, higher end. If if we put it in B, it's above the pilot, me seeks and destroy, interdimensional cable, and raising Gizorp Azorp. Yeah, we could do. I okay. think that was really good. Yeah. So then we got we got the close encounters of the Rick, close Rick counters of the Rick kind. That's the Citadel of Ricks. Episode, the first one. Okay, so they like sent to the. Uh, yeah, the retarded the Rick with Jerry that. thing I find funny. <laughs> yeah. The main plot, I like how it extends on the universe, but it's not the best of jokes. Yeah. I feel like the main plot is a bit more serious and world building while it doesn't have the best of jokes from what I remember. Funny that the whole the gun bit. No, nope, that's not that one. That's not that one where the gun has the No, that's that's the that's the second episode with the Citadel of Ricks. Oh, I do like all the dimensions that Rick goes through to try to escape the other Ricks, and how it's like, we got the red X's on our heads, and it's... <laughs> I don't know, I would give it either C or B. Yeah. I would say put it in C. Okay, now we got the, the party episode, Rixie Business. Oh, that one's great. I'm yeah. squanching here. Yeah, I'm squanching. He's jerking off. And isn't that the one with, like, the Titanic-themed, uh... Yeah, even where... that subplot's pretty good, too. And the Mexican girl tries to rape Jerry. Yeah. And, uh, the, the party is funny. That's the first introduction of Aberdoff Linkler. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And Bird and Person. And sends him off. But yeah, Rick sends him off, and then he sacrifices himself just so Rick can do drugs. Yeah. It's pretty funny. Yeah, and then, uh, that's, that's also, it has a pretty serious ending to it. And then don't they where... freeze the time, and then, is it in that episode or the next episode where Jerry has his shirt on? Yeah, no, that's the like, next. I like, <laughs> I like it this way, okay. Yeah, that's the next, the next episode. But, I'd uh. Say it's a. Yeah, it's a, 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 a really funny episode. There's also a very serious moment in it where Bird Person tells Morty that he needs to that Rick needs to numb himself because of the pain. And when you learn in season five his backstory, I feel like that's a nice bookend to that. Yeah. Okay, well that's season one. Uh let's move on to season two. We got a Rickle in Time. Oh, is that the testicle episode? Yeah, the testicle head man. Episode. I don't care for that episode. <laughs> really? I don't, it wasn't. I'm not a huge fan of it. I think it's funny. The B it's plot with really, Jerry and kinda, Beth, I really kind of don't care for. Where it's like the deer. Is it the dating? No, it's the deer. Oh, it's the fucking deer. Yeah. And then I like the paused in time stuff with Rick, like when Summer and Morty are fighting for his attention, and Rick's just like. Here, let me let me explain how you guys uh <laughs> sit in grandpa's life. He grabs like a cork board and he's like <laughs> a whiteboard and he's like, I don't measure you by height or gender. It's the amount of pain in my ass, and you both are pretty close. And then I like the testicle head guy because he's funny as shit, because he's like he has that gun that's alive. I 
I would give it B a, or C. Yeah, I don't think it's B. But then you also you have that line that you mentioned where it's like I like wearing it this way and shit like that. Yeah. No, one of my favorite jokes in that episode is when Rick is like sacrifices himself for Morty. Then he sees his collar and he starts praying to God, and then he puts his collar on. And he's like, "Fuck you, God! You're not real." <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I think it's a solid episode. B. Okay, Morty Night Run. That's the fart episode. The what? The fart. Like a cloud? The fart. Okay, explain the episode to me. M Rick sells the gun to that one bounty hunter. Oh, okay, yes, yeah. So it's the cloud thing. Or yeah. The fart. The episode's okay. Yeah, I like the B <laughs> the B plot with Jerry, and that one's really funny. Where he's at that daycare. The daycare for Jerry is hilarious. I love any episode that uses Jerry's stupidity at the expense of. And there are some, the there are some good jokes in the fart section. It's just yeah, like, it's, this is not very. Like, you think in B? I'm thinking B. I don't think it's B. Really. It's yeah, really but the not subplot is good though. I mean. Yeah, I don't think it's good enough. For B, okay, sounds good. Okay, we got auto erotic assimilation, the Unity episode. Unity episode's good. Yeah, super funny. The scene, the the scene when she like blows up the town or whatever. And yeah. <laughs> she's like, oh. Yeah, and then uh, the the B plot was. Beth and Jerry, I actually Rick, like. The end of it, the end of it being very sad is also very sad. Yeah, because Rick because tries to he, kill like, himself. Almost kills himself. Yeah. yeah, no, I think it's an A or an S. The, like, nerdy other, like... Yeah. I would give it an A or an it. S. It's A. It's A. Because the B-plot kind of drags it down. Oh, yeah. Even though it's not a bad B-plot, in my opinion. What's the B plot? Rick and Jerry. No, not Rick and Jerry. Rick, Jerry, and Beth go into the garage to find his weed whacker, and then they come across oh. that alien. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. The B plot is funny, but I feel like there's better. And it, then the alien. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd give it an A. Okay, um, we got Total Recall. That's the the Parasite episode. Parasite episode's pretty good. Yeah, I like all the jokes they do. I, I, this... I like the flashbacks. It's pretty funny. Yeah, the... the, the... <laughs> 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 they're really creepy. I like when it's like their cousin is just like, we have a pretty mean words for Nazis where I come from. And he's like, the Nazi's like, I'm already used to being called a Nazi. You think I'm going to be offended by anything else? <laughs> I would give it a B. I'd say B. Yeah. It's, it's a, it's a... Yeah, with banana, with the banana dude. Or... You Mr. Poopy Butthole. Mr. Poopy Butthole. <laughs> That's his name. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. B. B is a solid one for that one. Um, Get Schwifty. Is that like the fucking the planet the alien, head? The planet is what you're made of, and it's like a game show or whatever. Yeah, um, honestly, not a huge fan of that episode. The B plot is funnier plot... with the cult. The... Yeah, the cult. That's the fun. That's the best part of that episode. I don't really care for the main plot with, with Ice the T. Yeah. That is the I first episode that we get that. the president, which is a pretty good character in himself. Yeah. I would the, say... The B, plot, the, the B plot's better than the A plot. Though. C? Yeah. I'm cool with C. Yeah. I feel like a lot of these are going to end up C or B. Mm-hmm. Only the bangers are going to stand out. Okay, we yeah. got 
The Ricks must be crazy. That's the microverse, ba- dude. I love this. Ep- the microverse battery. Oh uh, then... yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very funny. Yeah, no. This... All, everybody, all the people living in those microverses also have their own. Yeah. Fucking microverses. And then uh, the cars. And the B keep... plot's funny as shit too. Yeah. Yeah, I would give it an S, honestly. I'd say it's an S. I think it's really funny. The I like Morty's how, line like, where he's like, I jerked off to... One... <laughs> what? Sorry, go. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I jerked you, off to... You a... jerked off to a piece of wood that was extra curvy or something yeah. like that? <laughs> That's funny. I like that the one guy, like, finds out that his entire universe is, like, whatever, and then he drives the fucking thing into the side of the wall. And kills himself. And the other, the character, the guy in the first player, the scientist, yeah. Is pretty, it's a good character. Yeah. Like, no. Rick's like. It's slavery. It... <laughs> yeah, no. It's an S tier episode. I love that episode. Okay. That's a good one. We got Big Trouble in Little Sanchez. That's Tiny Rick and the, the, the marriage counseling for Beth and Jerry. I actually like that episode. The B plot is decent. Not all the jokes land with it, and then uh, no. But I like the idea of him going to the couple and then them making yeah, like, like a thing and then... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Little Rick is. I like how he whenever he like he can only speak through like emotions. Artistic, <laughs> yeah, artistic, Let me out. Like... Let me out. This is not a dance. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'd give it a B or an A. Yeah, I'd say A. Yeah, A, A, A seems right with that one. Yeah, it's just like a gold around it. Okay, then we got interdimensional cable two. I will say the B plot with Jerry's penis, with the, with like the. Oh yeah, saving the guy's heart. It's the same shape as the dude's heart, right? Yeah, like his penis. And then Beth is looking at all like the fucking other dicks. For, for her dicks. <laughs> and then Jerry thinks he has a gun when it's one of the dicks. Yeah. But I don't remember the sketches for interdimensional cable that well. I would say. Yeah. I will say, I think I like, I feel like it should go in B as, like, a lower B, because I think the, the B plot is better in that episode. Than yeah, than the first. the first interdimensional. Yeah, second will go in B. Okay, then we got All Purge. Right. The Purge episode's fucking awesome. Is there... I don't know if it's S tier, though. I don't know if it's S tier. Is there a B plot in that episode, or no? I can't fucking remember if there is. Oh, there might be some no, shit. there is, because it, Jerry talks to Summer about, like, needing money. Oh, yeah. I, I think yeah, it's a good... Like, he, like, makes sure he, like, pulls out her string, like, talks about emotional shit. And he's yeah. Like, I need to talk. And then, uh, the, the, the reveal that Morty actually just fucking snapped instead of, like, the candy bar making him go insane. Yeah. And then at the end, it's, like, revealed that, okay, to solve all of our social problems, we'll have one, like, the purge just happens again after they get rid of it. That's a good one. I yeah. think it's an A. Yeah, I'd go A. It's definitely not S. But... Yeah, it's not S-tier caliber. It's a well-rounded funny episode. Mm-hmm. And then we got the the wedding of the Squanchers, the bird person and Tammy's uh-huh. wedding, then the Federation comes. Um. Is the word the like no. no, that's the next episode after this. Yeah, I would give it a B or a C. I'd give it like a B. I'd, get, I'd say B. I like all the planets they go to, and then Rick fucking gets upset about Cobb World for some reason. <laughs> yeah, he's like, fuck this corn. And then the one world where, like, it's it's the, during the day, the sun's just, like, screaming. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I, I would give it a B. 
Then we got the opener to season three, which is forgot what what is it called? The Rick Shank Redemption. <laughs> I actually really mm -hmm. like that episode. Is that one bug who interviews Rick supposed to be modeled after Chris Hansen? I don't know. You don't know? It's very funny. The, the whole Sony thing, and then he's like, he, he conjured up some sort of fuck. <laughs> and the B-plot is pretty good with the Federations on Earth, and Morty yeah, and Yeah, and Summer. Jerry's just getting fucking, they're all getting pills and whatever. And then yeah. they also visit, they visit the old. Yeah. And then, uh, the, the, old universe. the Citadels of Ricks come back, it gets, they, there's like a huge accent scene with the Federation, and then it turns out they, <laughs> Rick changes a one to a zero, and then the whole Citadel, <laughs> the whole Federation goes into chaos over that. <laughs> I yeah. don't know, I don't know if it's S. Yeah. Do you think S like, or A? Shoot me in. I think A. Mm, yeah, it's a close S. Definitely. Okay, we got the... Oh, and that's also when... Uh, that's also when Beth and Jerry break up, which I'm happy with, because that means less Jerry. <laughs> yeah. And then we got uh, Rick Mansing the Stone, the Mad Max episode. Oh, shit. That's probably an ass. Yeah, no, it's a really good fucking episode. Also, the, the fucking bit with the <laughs> robot, like... <laughs> I, wanna, I wanna go run in a stream, and then <laughs> Morty comes <laughs> back. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. He doesn't run a stream, like, what the fuck, no, that's fucking... <laughs> yeah. No, I, I think it's an S. I really enjoy that episode. Yeah, it's super funny. All the Mad Max stuff is super. I don't, I'm not the, the biggest whole, fan of the, the arm. Whole, the arm. I like the arm. Yeah. I like the. I like the. Arm. Yeah, the whole it's... bucket thing, and then like they they make a society, and then they're like, "We noticed you were putting the scrap metal in the um, yeah <laughs> the glass." <laughs> Yeah, no, no, that that's a good that's a good episode. I like it. Okay, now we got Pickle Rick. Which Pickle Rick's got be... as overhyped as it is, it's actually a really good fucking episode. <laughs> yeah, what's the beat that? The the, 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 the therapist. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. It's definitely a mess there. Yeah, no. I love I love all the action scenes and how Rick turns yeah, like, off when, his... like yeah. Yeah, Yeah, and then I I really like the therapist. I think she's very really, really funny. It's funny. The whole evening shit. Yeah, and then I the pickle Rick part of the episode is fun action. That's also yeah, Jake Wire. Yeah, the rat the rat stuff. The rat yeah, no. Stuff is yeah, nah, it, it's an S tier. Even though the episode is overhyped, it's still S tier. Okay, now we got Vindicators 3, The Return of Wonder, World Ender. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love, I love just, my favorite part is when the one dude gets scared right away and then he jetpacks up and just gets his head fucking... No, my, it, it still arrives around that character where, like, he's like, I never forget a kid's name, and then Rick's like, you never forget a kid's name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rick, Rick was a part of it. And then Rick's just getting blackout drunk. Then turning and, like, it into Saw, and then, like, yeah. one of my favorite lines is when he's like, I could've used a ghost train. Oh, guys, the ghost train guy could've used a ghost train. <laughs> is that all season two? No, this is all season three that we're going through right now. Is fucking great, dude. Yeah, no. The only the the bit of a problem that I have with Vindicators though is the the ending. It's not a bad ending, but I wasn't the biggest fan of the 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 star bitch how she betrayed. Yeah, I, I'd say it's I'd say it's a tier. Yeah, it's definitely a fucking banger though. It's Rick is really funny. Yeah, and that just one. Rick clearly being like. <laughs> yeah. 
Clearly not liking the Vindicators is so funny, and Morty wanting to, like... Impress them, yeah. Yeah. Now we got the Whirly Durly Conspiracy. Oh, is that the one where, like, they're trying to kill... Yeah, the unkillable yeah. place. Yeah, the and then the B plot where <laughs> Summer tries to make her tits bigger, but then she turns into like a monster. <laughs> Funny, but honestly, I don't really care for the whole fucking really dirty shit. I I would say C or D. The Summer stuff's funny, but honestly, the episode's not very memorable, and I don't think it's. Yeah, it, it's definitely a lower point of season three, so I'll give it a C. Yeah, I'd, I'd C. Okay. Yeah, C is fine with. And would, then we got the, the Rick's and Rick rest and Rick laxation, the toxic. Toxic. B. Yeah, I'd say B. It's it's good. It's funny. It's clever. I like the whole idea of the spa. Mm -hmm. Is there a B plot plot on that one? Yeah, I don't think there was. Hold on, let me see. After a seemingly ended, it was awesome to need to relax, but things go a little haywire when their special detox machine has side effects. No, I don't think there's a B plot in that one. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say it's B tier. Yeah, it's. There's some funny jokes like the. the, the... The kids murdering that one guy when they turn toxic, then when they go back, it's just like blood. They decapitated him and shit like that. Oh, yeah. The B plot's kind of basically the toxic Rick. Yeah. That's basically the B plot. Man, when Morty, like, he comes rich and whatever and gets the, like, yeah, that, the, the that, big titted bitch. Yeah, that's not the most interesting part of that. Um, Rick has the fucking, the little robot thing. Yeah, nah, it, it's a, it's a B tier. Uh, we got the I'd Rick Lant. I'd say we could put that in the C tier. Let me think about it. Yeah, that'll go and see. Now we got Rick, Rick Lantis mix up the the second return to the Citadel. No, the third. With all the the Mortys. Yeah, with all the Mortys and the Ricks, the Mortys parroting "Stand by Me," where the one Morty throws himself in, and then it's like. Trash dump activated. Yeah. And then the return of evil Morty. Yeah, there's nowhere to go with that. So I don't really care for it. So. B. Nah, C- nah I'm, that's honestly a D. I didn't, I didn't really like it that much. Yeah, I don't really care for it. It adds the to evil. All that is the, the Rick and the Murray top. That's yeah, the no, part. that. That's the best part of that episode. Morty's making like fucking portal fluid or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> that's the best part of that episode. Yeah, no, that's the Morty cop and the Rick cop are the best part of that episode. Okay, we got oh, we got a banger, Bryce. We got Morty's mind blowers. Morty's mind blowers is funny. It's the whole like uh idea and it's and it's an anthology like interdimensional cable but for some reason i think it's just so much funnier than interdimensional cable yeah yeah it's super funny it's yeah fuck and stuff. yeah no i would give it an s or a yeah <laughs> granite yeah where she's like <laughs> Is this a tier A or a, t- a situation four or something? I would give I'd it an S or an a. a. A? I'd say A. I don't know if it's S. Yeah, I'd give it an A. I a, feel B, like S's. Is... Mm, sorry. Yeah. I feel like S's need to be like a Bang. very powerful, like, banger episode. That episode is just well rounded. I feel like a well rounded episode would be A tier. Yeah. Um, we got ABCs of Beth. C. Oh, is that one's bad. Yeah. Yeah. I like the guy fucking all those things. Yeah, no, that's funny, but I feel like the the I feel like the execution <laughs> of Fruity Land isn't the most interesting. Yeah. What else happened? The the alien bitch fucking Jerry. Yeah, I don't care for that. Yeah, C. I would say. 
It's an episode that I remember, but it's not one that I would rewatch a bunch. Bryce? Yeah, no, I agree with you. Okay. Now we're on to the last episode of season three, the the Rick Churian Morty date, the the third episode, the second episode with the the president. The first, actually, the, the turkey one. No, it's the 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 one where they call them to like find that one beast, but then Rick one just, creature, and then Rick and Morty are like, "Fuck this shit." Yeah, <laughs> but the B Rick plot like, is not my favorite. Where Beth is questioning if she's a clone or not, and then yeah. she gets back with Jerry. Yeah, that, I'd not... say it's on. I do like the part with the president though, and the fight that him and Rick have. Yeah, that's the best part. And then like the, the but the mini the mini where he's like. You shouldn't need a shirt because they said you like to swing your dick around. <laughs> yeah, I'd say B. Yeah, I would give it a B. It isn't a bad episode, but I I, I don't like Jerry and Beth side plans. You're giving it a, a D? No, I said B. Not B, no. Not B? No. It's not C? that good. D or like D. The, I would even say D. The president subplot, though, is good. I like that. I'm putting it in C. I, I'm not going to go low. What? It's a C. I'm putting it in C. <laughs> okay. We got the, the, the first episode of season four. We got the Edge of Tamorti Rick Die Repeat. Rick Pete. The the one where Morty gets the crystal and then becomes Akira. Oh uh, yeah. To be honest, that plot I don't really care for. The 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 no. Rick the Rick is it the hologram. Way, is, is it the same? It's not the same one as Morty getting like the video game thing, right? No. The the Rick hologram is really fucking funny, and the the thing where Rick keeps showing up in different dimension, and he's like, "Hail Wasp Hitler." <laughs> yeah. 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 The main the the Morty plot I don't really care for, but since the hologram Rick yeah, is the, funny, and the other the death crystals, I don't really care for that. Yeah. I, it, hologram. It's, yeah, the hologram, hologram Rick. Rick becoming becoming like realistic. Real the... Yeah. 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 No, I'd give it a B. It ain't a bad episode. No, um, it's right. The old man in the seat. The the What's toilet the facility and the app. The uh, uh, I don't care for the app. The toilet one oh. is good. The toilet. The toilet funny but like rick's pursuit of rick dies is like... and then it's like dark when he died at the end and then rick kind of feels bad about it yeah i don't really care for that episode d the only good part is like yeah i'd say d the only good part about it is the fucking is one fucking jerry being an idiot and like doing the app or whatever yeah i didn't like it's that. funny how yeah Okay, next is probably the worst episode. <laughs> One crew over the crew who's N Morty, the fucking heist episode. Yeah, no, fuck that. Yeah, no, fuck, fuck that, that episode. Up. I hate that episode. <laughs> yeah, about the whole thing. Yeah, it's just, it's so just it's fun. too meta. It's just too much. There are a few clever jokes, but I just get sick of it eventually. Yeah, I don't I care to rewatch that one. Yeah. The Claw and the Hoarder, special Rick Tums Morty, the dragon episode. The dragon episode? That's ass. Yeah, no. That's for the humor of it. That's for the humor. <laughs> it's high time that I've emerged from my cum cocoon. <laughs> yeah. 
We like to fuck Willy Mammoths down here. <laughs> Only you like fucking that thing. <laughs> <laughs> and Rick fucking the thing in front of Martin. Yeah, no. The, the, like, first... Oh, don't go. <laughs> the first part of that episode I really don't care for. Like, the first three minutes, but then it just turns into a banger. <laughs> Yeah, no, that one's a good one. I love that one. Okay, we got Rat Rattlestar Ricklactica. Is that the snake one? Yes. <laughs> I don't fucking like that episode. The whole snake shit is stupid as hell. I don't know, I find that kind of funny. I mean, it's fine. The best part of it was like, is like the... the is it the that Rick where Jerry has the, the Rick shoes? And Morty. Like he's lighter yeah, than shoes. air? Yeah, that shit's stupid. I don't care for that. Except for the race, the race thing when he's on the basketball court. Yeah. <laughs> and then I also like the... I, I like a... <laughs> they, get a <laughs> they get a flat tire in space. That one's a good bit. Yeah, this is a little bit better than I thought. There are some good I would say D. Yeah. D. Yeah. Yeah. D. I'd say C. I'd C? say C. Yeah. There's, there are some there's good, good parts in it. And the testicle heads reappear again. Yeah. So, episode. Oh my fuck. Okay. Yep. Episode six. This one I oh, actually. That also looks like a Terminator. Yeah. Like... Yeah. Yeah. So, episode six, I actually recently watched this because I haven't seen it fully, was the, the fucking train episode. I fucking hate the train episode. And then it's revealed to be like a toy. The only part of that yeah. episode I found funny was at the end when Rick starts, like, praying to God. Yeah. <laughs> and Jesus That's comes. Really yeah. But honestly, the fucking F tier. I yeah, it it's like I get what they're doing with it, but it's like, yeah, you're so fucking clever, and I just get sick of the joke. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, we got never Ricky Ricking Morty. I also just watched this one as all. Well. It's the the face hugger episode. I really liked it. I like that episode. Yeah. I'd say it's a. It's not like. Yeah, um, we're like the face like... <laughs> where they like shit eggs, and it's like I we've been alive for twenty minutes, and then they shit eggs, and then. <laughs> yeah. But then they like, like advance their. Yeah, no, it, I think it's a I think it's a good episode. Yeah, I like it. It's a very clever take on that. I love... And then they kind of. Go back into the, or when Rick Morty makes it. They do like a 9 11, they say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When and the two Pearl towers Harbor. are there and they're just like, yeah, let's avoid those. And then they blow up. They're like, yeah, I'm not a part. I'm not past Pearl Harbor. And then they just blow up Pearl <laughs> the Harbor. <laughs> yeah. Um. And then they like have to go back to Summer because they just forget about her. Yeah, the, the, the the face but... the 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 things that were on their faces like were in love with each other. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Yeah. S. A. a. Okay. Yeah. A. Then we got the vat of acid episode. That's really funny. Yeah. No, I love that whole episode. The fucking bit with Morty. <laughs> That might be an S tier because of how emotional it is at some points too. Yeah, but no, it's really the writing. Fucking... The writing for that episode is really good. Yeah, and I Morty loved... with the uh, yeah the one chick. Morty with the go back in time thing. Yeah, and then Jerry just fucking presses it because he thinks it's the remote. And then, uh, and then the whole vat of, and then it's all just like a lesson to teach Morty. Like, yeah, the vat of acid was a good idea. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, no, I'll give it S. S. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, then we got the Child Rick of Mort, the camping where they go to the impregnated planet. Oh, yeah. 
I like it. I like the episode. There's some funny ideas. It's fine. I like I like the subplot with Morty and Summer where like they get high and play video games. And yeah, and he's like, this thing is just like my video game, and then he has no idea how to fly it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then I do like the I do like the the summer the Rick fucking a planet thing, and then it's like he he was on that website at the end, and he's like, it's a bit by like the the planet fucking <laughs> where it's like the sensual yeah. thing. Yeah, no, I would, I would give it a B. Okay, we got the final episode of season four, Star Mort Return of Jerry. Jerry, it's the re- it's the return of the, it's the Beth clone thing paying off, and the Phoenix person and Tammy's return. Okay. What do you think? Not much anything really notable from those episodes. I mean, it's mostly just like. It's just continuing the Yeah, the only jokes that I kind of like is Summer and Morty fighting over the invisibility belt. Yeah, that's fine. I think it's like a C. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, it's an okay episode. Not one of my favorites. Okay. Yeah. Now we're on to season five. We got Mort Dinner Rick Andre, the Mr. Nimbus episode. I like that episode a lot. I really Mr. like Mr. Nimbus. Whole... I'm not the biggest fan of. No, that part of the episode sucks, but the whole gateway thing. Yeah, with with the whole the full Jessica... Narnia shit is yeah, so funny. Yeah, Mr. Nimbus. I do kind of like the joke that he's a f- that I like... so afraid of him. <laughs> I would say a B. It's like a high yeah. B or a low A. What? B? Yeah, no, that that part of the episode is super funny. Okay, we got Mortiplicities, the 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 fucking clone episode where the squids attack and they turn out to be clones, and then more clones keep showing up, and then like shittier clones show up where they're like made out of wood and they're muppets yeah that's just damn way too fucking confusing it's funny though like some of the jokes are really funny in it yeah i'd say it's like c i think i get pretty tired of it though yeah i like the reveal of like the aliens also being the clones and they're like dressing up as aliens and i like like the shittier clone reveals like how some of them just are like the one crazy clone yeah. that, like, skins people. Yeah. I-, I would give it a C. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. We got... Oh, the fucking Rick Convenient of... Mo- Why do they have to fucking make these episodes so annoying titles? <laughs> Rick Convenient Mort. The fucking Planetina episode. Oh, I don't really care for that episode. Yeah, I don't even like the C plot with more with Rick and Summer going to the different planets. Some of the jokes in that are funny, and some yeah, of the jokes the in the one trick with the like, arm titties is kind of funny. I'd say it's like a D, honestly. I, I some of the jokes in the Planetina because I like the parody of Captain Planet, and I like the where Morty just kills all of them with the fire and stuff. But yeah. I I still think it's just the D. Yeah. Okay, we got a Bryce, we got a banger. Rick Dependence Spray. It's the sperm. Oh, the sperm. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, no, the sperm. <laughs> yeah, no, like right away when I saw when I saw that where like the horse jerk offer and Morty stares at it, I already knew that episode was gonna be so good. And then when all the jizz comes. The dude went the other way and kill yourself or yeah. fucking sword. Yeah, no, no. Rick dependent no, that is a straight S. It is such a good episode of season five. Yeah, that might be one of the best episodes, honestly. 
Yeah, no, it, it's a it's a really good one. I like it. Okay. Yeah, got... sticky the little the little. Spray yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the first uh instance of the incest baby. Oh, we got a Mortiken Girific. Uh they okay, that's the one where the where the Summer and Morty steal Rick's car and the car wants to get fucked. And then the the Cenobites. Uh, I'd say it's like a B. Yeah. It's a, well, I like the Cinnabite stuff. Don't really care for the car shit, though. I do find it kind of funny, though, that the car wants to get fucked. I feel like that's a bit funny. <laughs> yeah. But the I don't care the for, like, the exchange like... student or whatever. Yeah. I like the Cinnabites, though, so... I'll give it a yeah, B. The Cinnabites are funny. I'll give it a B. Yeah. Okay, we got the... Rick and Morty's Thanksploitation Spectacular, the Thanksgiving episode. Honestly, I watched that episode not too long ago, and I didn't really care for it. What? I like that episode. I mean, it's fine. I don't know. I was going to give it an A, but if you want to give it a B, I'm fine with that. I'd say a B. It's really not crazy. It's the fun. The it's funny, party. like, the, I like all the jokes with the turkeys and the turkey, like, PTSD the one guy has. And and I still like Keith David as the president. Yeah. I'll give it a I'd B. I'd say B. Yeah, B's. Yeah. B, B's. There's a lot of parts. There's a lot of parts of that episode that I feel like just kind of bore me and I don't really care for. Okay, fair enough. Um, we got... Gotron Jerus Rick Valiant the fucking ferret episode. I don't care for that episode. D or F? <laughs> I'd say F. There's a couple of good, good jokes, but I really could care. Not, I couldn't care fucking less about that. Yeah, I don't. I always get that. I don't care for it. Okay, we got. Ricternal friendship of the spotless mort. The bird person mind episode. I actually really like that episode. Yeah, it's alright. It gives more shading onto Rick's character. It gets a nice backstory with him and bird you get to person. See fucking, you get to see Han Solo Rick. Yeah. I would give it a B. I, yeah. I don't think it's A. Or it's not. Or it's it's one of the more serious ones, and there are some good jokes, but I feel like yeah, B. B makes a lot of sense. Okay, we got forgetting Sirik Mortshell. Why the 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 two crows and the portal jizz on the guy's pants. Oh. I like mm -hmm. that episode. Yeah, I like the two crows and how like the crow aliens get upset at Rick. Yeah. I would give it a B. Yeah. I don't really like the the Morty portal the portal shit. I think it's kind of funny, but I don't think it's the the best. Yeah, yeah. I think it could be. Yeah, B. I knew a lot of these would land B. Mm -hmm. The good episodes are just way too good for like the subpar episodes to even like. Yeah. Okay, we got the last one. We got the, what the fuck is this one called? Rick Amorai Jack. I like that episode. Yeah, I like it a lot. I like the 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 relationship we're building between Morty and Rick. I love he, r finally seeing Rick's backstory of how he that what we saw in. The season three opener wasn't was kind of the truth, and it's kind of sad. The only part that I really don't like about it is Evil Morty, because I really could care fucking. I don't care about Evil Morty. Yeah. A. Because yeah. I feel like I feel like it is a yeah. bit. It, I feel like it's it it pays off in a lot of other retrospects, and it's funny. 
but the whole buildup with Evil Morty for five seasons wasn't that good of a payoff. Yeah. So I'd give it an A. So that is our... That's it. So do you want to know what's in... in For us. Yeah, in S, S, we got uh, Lawnmower's Dog, the the Intelligent Dog episode. We got the Microverse Battery episode. We got the Mad Max episode, Pickle Rick, Dragon, Vat of Acid, and Rick Dependent Spray. So, one episode <laughs> from each season has made it into S. What's your favorite episode? My favorite episode. It's between Dragon, Rick Dependent Spray, and Pickle Rick. I'm probably going to give it to the Dragon, because when me and you first watched that, I died laughing. Like, what, are, what would you say is the best one, Bryce? the Dragon one. What? I don't think it's the dragon one. I don't think it's the dragon one. What one do you think it is, Bryce? Spray. Rick Dependent Spray? It's super funny and the plot's actually pretty good. Oh, uh, we also forgot, though, that in the Voltron episode, the incest baby came back, but I don't think it's going to get above F still. Yeah, no. Okay, worst episode. Fucking fair episode. The ferret? Oh, no, the train. No, yeah, no, I was I was about to say I fucking hate the train episodes. <laughs> it's like it's, it's I just feel like it's the writers jerking themselves off, being like, Yeah, we're so clever and so meta about this, and I'm like, I don't <laughs> I don't fucking care. Uh, so do you wanna right. know? It actually it is it's a pretty even distribution. The only the only seasons that got an F though are four and five, but also four and five have some of the best epi- episodes. So yeah, I think it's interesting. The, I think the 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 highest season, if I'm doing averages here, is season three. Because we have two, we have two season three episodes in S, and we have three of them in A. Season three is probably the best. Yeah, I like four and five, but they have some of the worst episodes, though. That just bring them down. Yeah, the meta episodes are fucking trash. Yeah, but no, I feel like this is a decent tier list. Do you care yeah. about the other ratings or no? Uh, well, okay. So then in A, there's Anatomy Park, Cronenberg, The Party, Unity episode, the Marriage Counselor episode, the Purge episode, Vindicators, the Ra- Rick Shank Redemption, Face Hugger episode, Evil, the final episode of Season 5, then in B, Scammers, The Devil, Testicle Head, uh, Parasites, Interdimensional Cable 2, Bird Person's Wedding, the Akira episode, the, the Camping episode, Mr. Nimbus, Cinnabites, Thanksgiving. I just realized Season 5 has the most average episodes. <laughs> yeah. Because there's five episodes of season five in B. Which, that's not a bad Uh-oh. thing. No. As you said, it's not like these episodes aren't good. The only ones that I verge that I say that I really dislike is the train episode and the heist episode. Yeah. The other ones, I think, are just fine. Yeah. 
But then, like, when you get to S and A, you get... S is, like, some of the funniest episodes. A, A, I notice we put more of, like, the serious episodes, but still some good rounded ones. And then B... B is more of just, like, there's some funny jokes in them that kept us interested. C, kind of the same thing. D is ones that we start to be, like, eh. And then F is the ones we don't like. But yeah, um, I'm pretty sure season six is coming out soonish. So I'm excited for that, where they're gonna go. Are you happy with this ranking, Bryce? Yeah. I want to try to think of more tier lists we can do, but <laughs> I don't know what else we can do. So. Yeah. Well, yeah, I don't know. Minecraft, Minecraft, um, fucking, what are sea, biomes? Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves loot. Minecraft <laughs> biomes. Sea of... Actually, that wouldn't be that bad. I feel like that wouldn't be a very long list, though. Yeah, I was gonna say, we could do, like, we did the Zombies maps, but I was like, Zombies perks, the problem is you haven't played all the games. Um, zo like, weapons, the problem is there's no, like, just all the weapons. It's, yeah, it's, it's difficult, but I I'm glad we were able to make another Rick and Morty tier list. I don't think we're gonna be able to make another one on Rick and Morty, though. Tier list, but we haven't played the game enough. Rainbow Six Siege characters. Yeah, but we haven't but we, we we haven't played all the characters in that game. Maybe we should play it. We should get back into it once I get my PS4 fixed, and then do that. Because yeah. I feel like those those are very like specific things, and mm -hmm. it's going to be all preference. That's uh, it. Might not make a good tier list though, because you and me, it's all going to be. Preference. Well, that's the same thing, though, with, like, Rick and Morty characters and episodes. It's our preference. But at least we... Ag the thing is, is, we come to a consensus. That's the... if I feel like if we do the Rainbow Six, is we won't come to a consensus. You know what I'm saying? Bryce? Okay, well, this has been the tier list for Rick and Morty episodes. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe down below if uh, you do enjoy this. And uh, if you guys want to say what your major problem with our tier list or what your favorite part of our tier list is, make sure to let us know. And we will see you in the next one. Right, Bryce? Okay. See ya.